Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest video. I'm Ross Miriam today. I'm playing a little bit of standard here. Uh, an interesting deck from Grand Prix Brussels. This is Alexander Gordon Brown's Sultai Midrange Brew. Uh, I believe he lost in the top four. Yeah, third place. And I think a cool deck for anybody looking to mix it up in standard in the last couple of weeks before our return to Return to Ravnica, whatever the set is called. Um, definitely a powerful one, and hopefully it goes well today. Um, as for our hand right now, the obvious issue is that it's land light, though we do have Adventurous Impulse to find a second land, and then Branch Walker to help us find a third land. And, you know, if we miss our fourth land drop, that's fine, because we have another three drop. We have Jade Light Ranger to help find the fourth land, too. I'm kind of interested in keeping this. It's definitely risky. We're on the play. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I like the uh, the idea of making four land drops pretty easily with my hand and then sort of stopping. Four or five land drops, I guess. We got this confiscation queue. Kind of want to hit, hit five. Um, and I guess we're off. So let's hope we hit. Step one. Okay, we drew hint uh, Hinterland Harbor. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that was not the best land to draw. Uh, suddenly I'm filled with regret. Okay, our opponent's a blue-white deck. We're not going to get punished for stumbling here. Wild Growth Walker, that one's not so good against blue-white decks. Um, definitely gonna go for the land here off this impulse. Hit an Aether Hub, so that's pretty good. And now I guess I'll just play Wild Growth Walker, seeing as it is the most aggressive card here to try to apply some pressure. Okay, our opponent is Esper, the breakout deck from Brussels. That means less Settle the Wreckage, more Vrastic Contempt Fatal Push. That's what's going on here. Okay, I'm well, probably just going to push my Wild Growth Walker, but Jade Light is the best play here regardless. Um, do I want another Jade Light Ranger? Kind of want to get and find a Scarab God, or but I'm laying short of that. I think Ranger is pretty good here for the next couple turns. I'm going to top this. So we'll get a bunch of life that's probably irrelevant and make this walker a big one. Probably should have played the forest first. That would have bluffed Blossoming Defense. Okay, we got Seal Away. Maybe I'm... I, I thought the Esper decks are supposed to be black removal. That's why they have a basic swamp on their deck. Perhaps I am misinformed. Either way, let's start this turn by getting in there. And let's play another Jadelar Ranger. Disallow. Okay. Well, this is not going very well. We don't have a lot of pressure here. Our opponents are sort of trading one for one, which is what they want to do. Our hand is not good. Like Confiscation Q and Hostage Taker are just not good in the control matchups. Main Phase Glimmer. This suggests that they absolutely need a fifth land or want a fifth land. They top of both. Probably just two lands then. It also suggests that they have a Torrential Gear Hulk in their hand that they are very much wanting to cast next turn by finding two lands and being able to play their fifth land immediately. So, assuming my opponent has Torrential Gear Hulk in their hand, I think my best bet is to play Aethersphere Harvester. Hmm. 
We'll see if they do indeed have sixth land or they just kept a spell they really like. They are well set up against the Scarab God if that's what they have. Okay, no, no land six. So they kept a spell they really like last turn. And why don't I start with a Servant of the Conduit? This will gladly crew Aethersphere Harvester. And we can run right into Settle the Wreckage, I guess. I don't know. I guess Seal Away should suggest they have Settle. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with both. Yeah. No, I feel stupid. Uh, does it really matter what lands I get? I guess I'll get Forest Island. I definitely want to get the island. And now I have enough lands that I don't think I want to play the Spetted Pools. But I do want to play Branch Walker. Oh, undo. Still in the blocker step. Or we'll pass that mode out. I got blown out. It's okay, though. My opponent only has six cards in hand. We'll be fine. Definitely do not want Llanowar Elves as my draw step next turn. Okay, so my opponent, as far as Esper goes, is more blue-white splash black instead of blue-black splash white. Though they do have Fatal Push too, I don't know. Is that what these Esper decks are, are supposed to be like? Now to Fairy, that's that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, all the Esper decks I'm seeing from the Grand Prix, yeah, they're all blue black splashing to Fairy. So, I'm not sure what's going on with my opponent, but they're doing something different. Um, huh. My cards look embarrassing, because they are. But I get to look at three more of them. Ooh, that's a good one. Sure hope this one resolves. No Essence Scatter, please. What did I just say? Come on. No regard at all. No regard. I should probably just attack them. Don't think I'm ever getting rid of this Teferi. I also don't think I'm ever winning this game. I could say I'm only supposed to run like the the equipment into their settle the wreckage and honestly like I guess if I had the four or three I that would have been better. I'd had six power against this Teferi. But who's to say they don't just like fatal push something and hold up the settle or not Teferi like if I play differently then they play differently. I still don't feel like I'm in good shape. I think eventually I was gonna be behind enough that I have to play into the settle. My opponent, the weird thing is that my opponent has both black removal and white removal, so they're just full on Esper. Um, I do not expect this to work, but once again, it is probably my only option. And that is please don't kill my thing. They go for a removal spell here, we can cycle. Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. So what this is targeting settle the wreckage. So cycling into blossoming defense will not do anything. Instead, I will just confiscation queue this gear hulk in the post-combat. Main phase. Yes, I would like to search for a land. 
Sure, let's get a swamp. That one's gone. Still declare blocker step, and the Gear Hulk will be able to kill Teferi next turn, even after plussing. Though, I guess they'll probably just minus three, and then have the Gear Hulk back in their own deck. But, you know, what am I going to do? I don't want to play the hostage shaker and like try to cast it. Um, yeah, pay six. This would be better if Teferi was on three, but Teferi is a busted magic card. Yeah. Easy minus three. Now they have six cards in hand. Teferi in play. I have this dinky hostage taker. And everything is bad. Do not think that this deck was built to, to beat up on control. That's four main deck hostage takers. But we'll soldier on. Two lands, okay. I know I said that we're going to soldier on, but I'm pretty done soldiering. We're going to play a hostage taker, and if it doesn't kill their Teferi next turn, Finny. I have a four mana 2-3. That's what I'm doing with my seventh turn in Constructed. What do you have? Okay, they let it resolve. They must have nothing. Six lands in hand, about to die. Deathly afraid of this lowly 2-3. Oh no, they're casting a spell. What kind of nonsense is this? Another Torrential Gear Hulk? Man, that's lucky. Okay, we're very dead. They're going to draw into the other one that's near the top of their deck. Have a bunch of 5-6s. Okay, usually in the post-board games, things get a lot better. And that appears to be the case. So I like Brontodon, I like Vivian Reed, I definitely like Glincy Siphoner, and I definitely like Negate. Uh, I don't think I like Vizier of Many Faces, because there's not really many things for me to copy. But let's get rid of these Hostage Takers, these Confiscation Coups, these Wild Growth Walkers. Um, that still leaves us with 63 cards. I think some of the mana creatures can go. Lamar Elves is obviously the best of them, so probably cut some servants and maybe trim one or two of these harvesters. These harvesters just seem not like they're pretty bad. Let's get rid of those and a servant. Maybe Vizier is just better than the other things. It's good with it's good with Explorer to gain some card advantage. That's what I'm looking for. I can cut more servants. We'll try out these Viziers. I wish there was just a better thing for me to cop uh, to target when I copy their Torrential Gear Hulk, but my deck has no removal in it. So okay, I'm just copying Blossoming Defense, and the copying the gate doesn't do anything. I'm only copying my best creature doesn't do anything. This is Scarab God, but it is just card advantage. I can copy Clancy Siphoner as I can copy Explorer creatures. It's probably better than Servants. Maybe Koo is better than I think it is, but. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what my opponent's list looks like. It's possible I need to leave in some answers to opposing Scarab Gods, if that's what they're doing. But Koo is just so bad against Teferi. We're gonna, we're gonna do it like this. Plan first. So... This is a mildly awkward draw in that I don't have any sequence that lets me impulse on one and then cipher on two with two energy. And I don't think I'm going to take the chance of drawing Swamp or Blooming Marsh. But it's still a keep. If we can follow up Siphoner with Brontodon, that's a strong start. Ugh. I really wanted a land here in the top three, and I did not get it. So I guess I'll take the Branch Walker to dig towards the land. And now I have Branch Walker on two instead of siphoning. Since I'm not going to draw a card anyway, it cost me an energy to do it this way. Ooh. Never mind. 
I have a Glint Sleeve Siphoner. How about you? Please have Seal Away, not Fatal Push. Cast Down. Well, that's disappointing. I guess Seal Away would have been fine too, actually, because of Brontodon. But let's get a Brontodon down. Start trying to mash. We are short on blue mana for this Vizier, but that's fine. It'll take a while for it to be relevant. Ooh, I like Jade Light Ranger though. Push you for three. Um, there is something to be said for not casting a spell here and letting them disallow on curve. Because I didn't use a removal spell. Because the next turn they're going to want a Glimmer. It's generally what I've liked to do against control decks. Teferi does complicate things. If I wait and then they just disallow next turn, then um, they can Teferi plus and I won't have the necessary power to attack it to death. So I'm just going to go for the Jade Light Ranger now. Guess I could just go for Brontodon, and if they disallow that, that's fine. But I kind of like Brontodon. If they turn 5 to Fairy Plus and hold up Seal Away to defend it, I can play Brontodon pre combat and then use it to kill the Seal Away with the trigger on the stack. My creature never leaves the battlefield. Presumably, I'll Branch Walker next turn uh, and be able to kill Teferi that way. There is the potential for me being able to zero the Brontodon to accomplish the same task, but I would need to find a blue source. Don't think I'm going to take that risk. I'm just going to go for the Jade Light Ranger. Uh, I shouldn't have tapped Aether Hub. Once again, I have not successfully bluffed Blossoming Defense. Though this Jade Light Ranger has resolved. Don't want another Branch Walker. Do I want Scare of God? Probably. I'm going to have time. I don't really need Fifth Land immediately. It's just a good draw. A card that they have to keep in mind. Maybe sequence their removal differently than they otherwise would. I wonder what they're thinking about here. Okay, just cycling Irrigated Farmland. And now I am going to just attack with one creature because I don't want to get settled here. Okay, they take the damage. Is there any need for me to play into a Fumigate, which could also be in their deck, especially after sideboarding? I don't think so. Mm. Though if they fumigate, I want to be set up with being able to slam the Scarab God the following turn. So I think I'll run the Branch Walker into it and just try to find the fifth land. Maybe this is wrong. They haven't done a whole lot. Okay, I found a land. Thing is, I'm sort of expecting them to glimmer here, so it's not like they haven't done nothing. They've had Removal spell, card draw spell, they missed one turn, which is reasonable. And not super suggestive of anything. Instead, they're using Field of Ruin. That's not a good sign. Let's so, uh, get an island, I guess. So we can Scarab God and Zeer without using a ton of energy. We'll probably find another green source for this Brontodon. Now I'm pretty worried about a Fumigate. Oh no, okay. Oh. Now I expect that they really do have Settle the Wreckage. 
how do I best play around that? Um, I want to leave at least six power, I think, after a settle because of the follow-up to fairy. Oh, to fairy starts on four, goes up to five. So I need to leave five power, which means I think I can attack with Jade Light here. And maybe should have done the same last turn. Okay. Um... I don't think I want to run Scarab God into a counter spell, and I don't want to run it into like a cast out or something when I have the defense in hand, so I'll just send back. Eventually force them to do something. Raska's Contempt. Uh, that's fine. Probably should have let that happen more quickly. Um, I'm fine with that because I still have enough power to beat a Teferi, and I'd prefer this Blossoming Defense to protect a Scarab God than anything else. And because they have Settle, there's no point in me like, aggressively using Blossoming Defense to try to set up some lethal attack. Another Scarab God, that's a little awkward. Um... Now let's continue getting in for four. I guess I'm... Yeah, next turn they can go to Fairy Untap Hold Up Settle. That's going to be disconcerting. Um, now with another Scarab God in tow, I'm going to force them to have a counter spell. Okay. Is this another contempt? Or a gear? Oh, this could be a gear hulk. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I would have I would have defensed that one on basically anything. Ugh. What am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to jam all my threats and like keep attacking them? Well, I'm going to get settled at some point. There's not really much I can do about that. My Vizier doesn't really do anything. I guess I get to bront it on down this Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay, actually... Oh, but then... Yeah, I can't beat the settle. And I have Blossoming Defense for a normal removal spell, but I'm pretty sure they have settled the wreckage here. But gotta go for it. Don't really, like, if there's ever a point where I try to get more aggressive, they just settle me. I guess then I have, like, Scarab God Blossom Defense. So that's what I, I should have just been forcing them to settle earlier so I could leverage the mana. Yeah, I guess that was my mistake here. I don't know if that's a common play pattern, and I just am not well-versed in Standard or what. But now I feel like this second Scarab God is getting countered. I got four cards in hand. Haven't played a counter spell whole game. I'm on seven mana. So I don't I don't yet have to go for it. Let's see if they want to let this resolve. Okay. Well, we're definitely topping that. And playing another thing. Uh, 
Oh, this is super risky. Well, it worked. If they just killed my jade light response, I'm in rough shape, but I think they're trying to hold a removal for the Scarab God. Which I have many of at this point. They've just seen so many cards that I cannot envision <laughs> getting through whatever they have. Uh, now they're casting more main phase things. That's not a good sign. Okay, that I can deal with, I guess. We're still going to have seven mana here, which is enough for another Gear Hulk on that settle in the graveyard. But once again, going for it. Okay, we're pal Ooh. Ooh. There is hope yet. <laughs> um Okay. I guess we can impulse and stop that. Jade Light Ranger, definitely the best of these. Um, do I just jam Scarab God into a counter spell? I think I do. Got another one. Have the defense up for removal. Excuse me. Okay. Not really sure what's in their hand. But it doesn't seem like it's that good. Okay, now they get to push because the Teferi died. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to let this happen. Doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot. I have the Scarab God to protect. This Search for Escanta is going to do some work, though. They kept the card on top as well. They've drawn a good one. We're going to have seven mana after activating Search. And a Vraska's Contempt on the Scarab God. How about No Sir? This looks like the digging for a counter spell in response. And do they hit? They do. Exactly enough mana. Cast everything. This is what we call in the business a tilt. So we'll go up to 12. Still not the end of the world because I have another Scarab God in hand. They're down to two cards. Sanctum is a mild tilt with Jade Light Ranger in hand, but whatever. Get him to eight here. And see what they find off of this has can't activation. Another contempt. So they have found the exact right card off of Ascanta both times. That is their third contempt. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to Jade Light Ranger that turn, try to find Ninth Land, and then Scare God with an activation up, but then they have so much time to find a counter spell, and they clearly didn't have um, another Contempt the previous turn. Otherwise, they wouldn't have activated as Kante. They would have just Contempted and not taken the risk. So now we're in beat down a clock mode and hope they don't find more removal. And just find counter spells. Land where else can go to the graveyard, and then we find a land. So we're on. Yeah, no, because I guess 
the hits on the Jade Light Ranger didn't matter. It's because Lantern Realms is so small. I know two of our three creatures pre presents lethal. Uh, whatever. They know they know our hand. This is what we have. Can you beat it? Got him to six. No settle, please, and no gear hulk. No settle, no gear hulk. Cast down, so that'll deal with the one Jade Light Ranger. Which means we don't have lethal. Now I've got at least another turn. Uh... Now they get to untap the Azcanta, Azcanta again, plus cast down. That is gross. Oh. Now they just might be dead. Definitely going for it. Just going to try to kill them here. We know one of their three cards. When they have Escanta going, trying to attack down this Teferi, I think it's a fool's errand. Then the gate might just steal this one. Hmm. They found Settle, too. So now we're going to negate this Settle, but they cast down one of our things, and they're at one life. We tried hard here. I think we're going to come up one short. Maybe they misclick and kill the wrong Jade Light Ranger. I don't know. It seemed like they, they had just enough mana, too, on all these critical turns. Got them to one. They're down to one card, but they're seeing another ten between activating Escanta twice. I guess that does cost them six total mana because of the Teferi. It's four each time, minus two to six, so they have seven other mana available to them to with their draw step, Teferi drawing, and Escanta activating twice. So, you know, in their top ten cards, there's probably something good. At least something that stops two creatures. Very close with that top deck negate. Maybe I was a little too... Oh, there was that one turn I attacked with Thrashing Brontodon instead of the 4-3... Um, the 4-3 Jade Light Ranger. I think that one point might have gotten me. Yeah, I think I missed one point this game and got punished. Oh, man, that is... That is a tilt... One lousy point. <clears throat> and you know, if they settle away the 4-3 early, then I think I'm a lot more apt to deal with Teferi early or put them down another card and, and other things like that. So, yeah, I think that one point is what did me in. Good game. Good game of Magic. They're pausing a lot on this Ascanta, though. They found a Fatal Push. That deals with the one creature. Namely, the Lanware Elves. Okay. Oh, they're minus three -ing the Yeah, now they're just minus three to Fairy. Makes sense. If they're in any danger of dying, just give themselves more time. So the, this last card in their hand must be a brick. Okay. Adventurous Impulse is a pretty good draw, actually. I'll put, at least put them under the gun. Oh no, but it's a vizier! Ah! The vizier can't copy anything! Ah! Uh, this vizier was better than Servant of the Conduit, though. We can all agree that that was true. Um, yeah, even if it's worse in it exactly right now. Yeah, I mean... We can't do anything. I'm not taking a land. I wish I had Walking Ballista in my deck. Now we're now we're in rough shape. They see they see basically the rest of their deck before we threaten lethal again.
Like they know the bottom several cards. Yeah, disallow, sure. Yeah, and counter spells are good, not just removal. Uh, play the land that you had, untap the Escanta in the island. Uh, negate might do something at some point. But at this point, we're down just so much mana. It's, we're not going to be able to overload it. They're drawing two extra cards a turn, one of which is almost guaranteed to be a spell, or a relevant spell. Probably only going to give this one one more turn. Forsake the world lead. That one doesn't do anything. That one's just going to cycle. Okay. Uh, quickly, my opponent is up to five cards. They'll be up to seven here. We'll have some land. Now our Vraska is Contempt, so Contempt plus Disallow will probably lock it up. And they're sort of in uh, autopilot. Get, although, you know, given that my opponent's on six cards here, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Find another disallow. Like that. There's now a, a limit as to how many cards they can have here. I guess I have to go before this Teferi Ultimates. Ooh, well, that'll do it. Okay. Yeah, it can't beat a Scarab God. Otherwise, I was just going to maybe wait two turns and just try to spew and hope they don't find another settle. But I guess I can... I have three, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. It's going to say I could try to Vizier the Scarab God if they disallow it, then return it. But they have a second disallow and a contempt. I can stop the contempt with Blossom Defense, but the second disallow does it through the negate. Because I just don't have enough mana. So yeah, that, that'll do it. I missed one point, and it cost me that second game. I needed to be at a much earlier turn. Um, and the negate would have stolen it had I played that game perfectly, I think. Um, it's unclear whether or not I should have been more aggressive playing into Settle. Maybe give them two creatures, give myself more mana to work with. Uh, and go from there and maybe resolve a Scarab God earlier, protect it with the Blossoming Defense. Um, that that could have definitely been right. But I think it's pretty clear that if I just get one more point in, the game plays are out almost exactly the same. Or they use their settle for only one creature, which is even better for me. So that, that one point is really the thing that I, I think is most distressing. Though, the situation I was in was pretty bad. Like, I had to rip the negate to get out of it. So it's possible that in general I'm just supposed to be a bit more aggressive into settle, even though it's so clear that they have it. Um, it's, uh, it's just, just a, a judgment call where I need more experience in the matchup to be confident either way. Um, and I'm sure one that people that play a ton of standard are much more confident in than I am. But uh, that one point, that one point is rough. You know, uh, and that's sort of what playing against control decks is like. you you got to be able to seal the win, and if you leave the one, you might as well have done nothing. And that's what ended up happening, and we lost as a, real, as a result. So hope you enjoyed watching that one, and you can come back and see me on Monday. Bye.